and welcome back to Harip Exam Learning Resources. Now, as part of our Databricks Spark Developer Certification uh, question video series, we will be covering now next question based on some fundamental concepts of the question paper one from our uh, Databricks Spark Developer Certification Simulator. So this is the simulator where we have seven question paper as I have discussed and we will be discussing only selected questions wherever we feel it is required and uh, there are almost 360 questions so we cannot cover every question in the video and I don't believe there is uh, any point of discussing each questions because uh, giving so much time is also difficult so we will have only selected question discuss here so now let's pick up the question number 56 about the certification exam so in this question it is asking you have been given below pseudo code okay so this is the code pseudo code how many spark internal stages will be there so you need to understand the concept of jobs stage and task correct so uh, this is the code if from that you have to find it out how many stages would be there okay so before that uh, going into the explaining the how to arrive the answer let me explain you basic concepts uh, about this job stage and task okay so here what we are saying here uh, let me tell you uh, what is the job means here so let me just uh, draw the first uh, so what exactly is a job means okay so when you in the spark or uh, when you work okay so as you know there are transformation and actions correct in the spark so whenever there is a action a job would be created in the spark suppose you have written so four lines of code and there is a you say rdd dot collect something some action you would be calling correct so this would be entirely called a one job and this job could have multiple stages okay how the stages are defined that is a different things which we will discuss correct so a job can have a stage and stage is what a collection of task correct so suppose uh, this is your uh, spark cluster let's say you have four node in the cluster this is your driver program okay which is is submit the job to this all the four nodes correct one by one okay and each node has a f uh, let's assume a 16 core so in total you can have 16 multiplied by 4 at the t parallel is 64 task can run task okay because each individual task required one core you remember this thing correct now let's come to the point of staging correct a stage what is a stage a stage is a collection of tasks so you could have t1 t2 up to tn is a collection of tasks so suppose i have uh, some activity that needs to be completed correct okay and uh, that require that may require multiple tasks to be completed okay but can be a part of single stage so suppose i have a task to do some uh, things to do which required three tasks t1 t2 and t3 so we need a three core to complete this task correct and this all together combines and become a stage correct till now understand the conceptually we'll discuss it a uh, little more in this session okay so this is three tasks will complete the stage okay and job could be multiple stages or single stage job correct a job could have a multiple stage as well so job would be divided or divide I won't say divide okay let's assume divided in multiple stages like say stage 1 stage 2 and stage 3 something correct this divided and each task each stage would could be have multiple tasks like this required t1 t2 two tasks this required 
only one task let's assume it and this required multiple tasks t4 and t5 correct it is possible <coughs> now in another important concept here is the rdd correct so internally whether you use the spark 2.x or 1.x internally everything would be converted into the rdd whether you use data set or data frame finally your code would be executed on rdd internally it would be converted into rdd so rdd is a partition generally you partition the rdd what do you mean by partition here if you have this big data volume you can partition into the five parts let's say so dividing into the multiple and this is the spark will do for you to divide this okay you don't have to do this so this is a, a partition p1 partition p2 and partition p3 partition p4 and partition p5 correct five partition each rdd now suppose you have submitted this job to work on this rdd okay so this required three stages okay stage one stage 2 and stage 3 in stage 1 task t1 and t2 would be accomplished so even we have five partition rdd correct but this task runs parallelly on each partition okay so let me uh, just where is the pen okay uh, let's assume it this is the stage so this task parallelly run on sorry yeah this task p1 p2 p3 p4 and p5 this parallelly run on each partition t1 t2 task t1 t2 task t1 t2 task on all this so still it is in a stage one only correct this is the first stage and all the tasks in the stage parallelly run on different partitions correct each partition on different node in your cluster let's assume this partition is node n1 this is on node n2 this is on n3 node and this is node 4 and and this is on node 5 correct so this is how uh, okay let me clean it out and draw betterly uh, something better so it would be easier for you to understand so what we are saying this is my RDD okay I have five node cluster each node has a 16 core okay so we have a 80 cores cluster here now correct it my RDD this RDD one is partition into five on assume it so first partition p1 exists here this partition exists p2 here this is the partition which we do have on each node correct now as we said you submit a job correct this is your job which is converted into a stage let's assume it in the first stage we want to run two tasks t1 and t2 in the second stage we have another two tasks t3 and t4 and in the third stage we have another task t5 and t6 and t7 let's assume it okay now when you submit the job this first stage okay so this is stage one this is stage two and this is stage three so your first when you submit the job it would be executed stage by stage until your first stage is completed second stage cannot be executed because second stages depend the output of the first stage correct so what we want t1 and t2 tasks to be executed on this partition each partition so this is all five nodes would work independently on to executing t1 t2 task on this partition 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 correct so still we are on stage one and output of this data would be generated some output would be generated correct so why we do have a stage boundary here now 
why T3 and T4 in the different stage not in the same stage? So whenever output of first stage needs to be shuffled across the cluster, correct? Then that is the next job part after shuffling would be run in the next stage. So that would be T3 and T4 required data to be shuffled, correct? Suppose you are doing some sorting on the stage one, correct? The full data sorting in this you are doing then in the, to run the next stage you need data to be sorted data to be shuffled across the cluster so that is the boundary what we say whenever you need to shuffle your data new stages would be created and the, in the second stage t3 and t4 task would be executed and the shuffled partition could be something like this on this node this data on this node this data on this node this data this node has this data and this node has this data correct but this is a shuffled data first stage is completed now t3 and t4 task would be executed on each partition on each node parallelly correct so that is where stage 2 completed and another stage 3 would be completed once we shuffle the data if there is shuffling is required then the stage 3 would be executed on new partition data so that is where the task stage and job concept works okay so now let's go to the question which is being asked here you have been given below pseudocode Hadoop exam RDD1 and Hadoop exam RDD1 so whenever you load the data first there is a separate stage would be created okay so this is one stage here this is a second stage so two stages which we already have Hadoop exam RDD1 dot join join would certainly require shuffling correct uh, if we wanted to join the data we required shuffling so one two and three stages now correct and in the four here you can see join data to map partitions and map function when you apply the map function there is no need to shuffle the data so this part is still can be of the same stage of the join stage now filter again does not require the shuffling of the data so still it can be part of stage 3 and saving the data is not require shuffling correct it can be appended from each partition data would be saved so technically if you see this last four lines would be part of the same stage because this is only one time where the data shuffling is required during the join otherwise we don't need the shuffling so here three stages would be created now let's run some kind of similar code this is a pseudo code but I do have created some similar code over here okay so we would be loading this file from this location so now you can see here so until and unless action is fired your job would not be executed so I have started spark shell and once you start the spark shell you can see spark UI is available on this uh, URL and you can just check here this is available okay so there is no job yet run because I have just started this so let me run this code here and we will monitor the UI as well now let me refresh the UI you will see no job yet submitted because this is until and unless you call the action on the data no job would be submitted by the spark next is a joining of the data correct so let's join the data again this is not a action so there shouldn't be job created correct no job created next this map partition this is the transformation this is the transformation let's do this activity again this is the transformation we have done correct now this is the save as text file is an action so there, as soon as you call this action a new job would be created here okay uh, let me give the different directory name because it could be possible the directory already exists okay now run this and now come to the UI here you can see one job is created here you can click on this job to see the more details so this job has say direct acyclic graph visualization if you want to see what is the stage 0 is doing here text file and map text file and map 
and in the third stage you can see join map partition and filter and save as text file correct so this is the three stage job you should understand what it has done correct and here again if you want to see the detail what each job is doing just click on this detail here you can see the what this job is doing I'll not go through with this detail okay but here you can see for this each job how uh, how many stages can be executed so definitely you will get one questions based on this to find the number of stages in the job okay so you would be seeing that okay uh, if you click on the stage uh, it can open stage 0 this is you can see text file here loaded here and then some map partitioning is done here okay so what uh, one completed task here only one task is completed okay in this let's go here uh, click here here join map partition filter and save as text file so one completed task here again so there is a total task only one okay so this is more detail you can get from here okay so let me go here in the explanation very similar thing we have explained here we can see that in the given example following operation are being done load two data sources different files perform some map operation on both of the data sources and perform this kind of thing okay you read it actually it is part of uh, our explanation of the, our question so this is entire detail we have I have discussed so thanks thanks for watching and I hope you like this session so this is a part of our Databricks Spark developer certification uh, which this certification is based on the spark 2.x version of uh, spark and as you know spark is the fastest growing technology at the same time I wanted to mention you if you have not gone through yet on hadoopexam.com please visit hadoopexam.com site where this spark certification detail you can find here by clicking here and you can subscribe here so there are currently we have 360 plus questions and uh, some selected questions video we will be providing uh, this is in progress that's the reason we have not mentioned yet here but this like around uh, uh, 12 15 videos would be provided with this uh, uh, certification material to explaining the selected questions okay so that is the certification which is uh, recently become very popular okay about the spark 2.x and at the same time our most pro pro popular product I wanted to tell you is the annual subscription okay so where you will get lot of training so just click here and you will see what else is included in annual subscription training okay so uh, you can get the uh, annual subscription as well if you want it and uh, which includes some books as well now which these books are uh, copyright and created by the Hadoop exam only entire material is co copyright by the Hadoop exam actually and created by the Hadoop exam okay uh, technical team so please visit we have a lot of materials to be covered related to big data cloud computing programming languages uh, many certification popular certifications you can see here these are all listed here this uh, would be like our most of the materials are supported by with the uh, like videos or some notes or kind of thing or some simulators for preparing the certificates so thanks thanks for watching and I hope you like this session if you're watching on YouTube don't forget to subscribe it and don't forget also one point I wanted to mention if you want to know the regular updates on our product just sub click here subscribe here just put your name and email we will send you the updates whenever we do okay and uh, mm, uh, you just visit this and if you want to contact us you have various options you if for any query you have just use this phone numbers or you drop an email here if you are using mobile right now then just click on the whatsapp link this link work only on the mobile phone okay so it will uh, start the whatsapp communication with the Hadoop exam so that would help you to get more detail about if you want it so thanks, thanks for watching and uh, I hope we would be able to help you further. Thank you.